For years, SpaceX's Starship program was defined by fiery explosions and public skepticism. Each new test brought anticipation, but also a sense of dread. Would this be the flight that finally succeeded, or just another spectacular failure? The world watched as prototype after prototype met a fiery end, and the dream of a fully reusable rocket seemed almost out of reach. Each test flight from Starbase seemed to end in a dramatic fireball, fueling doubts about the rocket's reliability. The sight of burning debris scattered across the launch site became almost routine, and the phrase, rapid unscheduled disassembly, entered the public lexicon as a tongue-in-cheek way to describe these explosive setbacks. The so-called explosion curse became both a meme and a real concern for engineers and fans. Social media buzzed with jokes and skepticism, while headlines questioned whether SpaceX could ever overcome these repeated failures. For the engineers, each explosion was a painful reminder of the immense challenge they faced, but SpaceX turned every failure into a lesson, overhauling designs and relentlessly iterating. Instead of giving in to frustration, the team analyzed every scrap of data searching for the smallest clues that could lead to improvement. Every setback was treated as a stepping stone, not a dead end. After a devastating ground test failure in June 2025, the team doubled down, redesigning critical systems and refining flight profiles. They worked around the clock, pushing the boundaries of engineering and innovation, determined to prove that Starship could rise above its troubled past. On August 26, 2025, Starship stood ready for its pivotal 10th flight, one that would either cement its reputation or finally break the curse. The atmosphere at Starbase was electric, with engineers, fans, and critics alike holding their breath as the countdown began. As the engines roared to life and the rockets soared skyward, the world watched, hoping for a breakthrough. Every second of flight felt like a victory, and every milestone passed was met with cautious optimism. Would this be the moment SpaceX finally turned the page? This was more than a test. It was a chance to prove Starship's future, and SpaceX's vision for spaceflight. The successful flight would not only silence the doubters, but also inspire a new generation of engineers and dreamers, showing that even the most daunting challenges can be overcome with persistence, innovation, and a willingness to learn from failure. The 10th integrated test flight marked a pivotal moment in the Starship program, representing the culmination of years of relentless engineering, countless lessons learned from previous failures, and the unwavering ambition of SpaceX to revolutionize space travel. As Starship 10 roared off the pad, it soared through the clouds, passing the critical Max-Q point, the moment of maximum aerodynamic pressure, with remarkable stability. The vehicle then executed a flawless hot staging separation, a complex maneuver where the upper stage ignites before the lower stage fully detaches, minimizing time and maximizing efficiency. For the first time in the program's history, both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship Upper Stage completed their planned missions, each performing their roles with precision and reliability that had eluded previous flights. The Super Heavy Booster, after separating from Starship, performed a controlled descent and executed a gentle splashdown in the ocean. This demonstration of reusability is a crucial step toward making rapid, cost-effective launches a reality. Meanwhile, the Starship upper stage opened its massive payload bay doors and deployed a set of dummy Starlink satellites. This test not only proved Starship's ability to carry and release cargo in orbit, but also validated the mechanisms that will one day deliver real payloads to destinations across the solar system. In a critical milestone for deep space missions, the upper stage successfully reignited its Raptor engine while in orbit. This capability is essential for future journeys to the Moon, Mars and beyond, where multiple engine burns will be required to enter and leave distant orbits. As Starship re-entered Earth's atmosphere, it endured a fiery plasma trail, with its massive aerodynamic fins providing precise control. Despite the intense heat and forces, the vehicle maintained stability and splashed down intact in the Indian Ocean, a testament to its robust design. Upon inspection, only minor damage was found an impressive outcome for such a complex mission. The success of this flight proved that Starship is not just a paper concept, but a real, working spacecraft. The atmosphere at SpaceX Mission Control was electric, as engineers and technicians celebrated a historic achievement. The company had delivered on its promise of maximum excitement, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in rocketry. After a string of dramatic explosions and setbacks, the so-called explosion curse was finally broken. 
Starship 10's success marked a new era for the program, inspiring confidence in the future of fully reusable spacecraft. With this flight, Starship had truly arrived as a real contender for the future of spaceflight, standing tall and ready for the next bold step toward making humanity multiplanetary. Starship's success was a game-changer for NASA and its Artemis program. NASA had bet its lunar return on Starship, selecting it as the human landing system for Artemis III. Years of explosive tests had cast doubt, but this flight proved the rocket's core systems were sound. Suddenly the dream of landing astronauts on the moon felt real again. The Artemis III plan relies on Starship to ferry astronauts from lunar orbit to the surface and back. Without a reliable Starship, the mission would collapse. Now, with proven flight data, NASA and SpaceX could focus on the next challenges, uncrewed lunar landings and in-orbit refueling. The partnership was reinvigorated, and critics were silenced. The NASA-SpaceX partnership marks a new era in space exploration. This isn't about repeating Apollo, it's about building a sustainable human presence on the moon. Starship's massive capacity makes permanent lunar bases and large-scale cargo delivery possible. Instead of short visits, we're talking habitats, rovers, and the infrastructure for long-term living. The moon could become a stepping stone for deeper space missions, especially to Mars. By leveraging private innovation, NASA accelerates its goals and reduces costs. Starship's success validates this bold public-private approach to conquering new frontiers. Starship's triumph comes amid a new global space race. China is rapidly advancing its lunar ambitions, aiming to land astronauts by 2030. Their disciplined state-run program is developing heavy-lift rockets and lunar landers. For the US, Starship's success is a critical countermove, showcasing private sector innovation. The stakes are high. Leadership in space means technological and strategic dominance. With Starship, America is back in the race, but the competition is fierce and far from over. Despite its recent breakthrough, Starship still faces a series of daunting technical challenges that stand between it and its ultimate goal. Each test flight brings new lessons, but also reveals just how much more work remains. The scale and ambition of the Starship program are unprecedented, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in rocketry and space exploration. The next major milestone is a fully orbital mission, an even bigger leap in both complexity and reliability. Achieving orbit is not just about raw power, it demands flawless coordination between hardware, software, and human teams. Every system must work in perfect harmony, from launch to landing to ensure mission success. Perhaps the biggest technical hurdle is in-orbit refueling, a maneuver never before attempted at this scale. This process is essential for deep space missions, especially those targeting the moon and beyond. For lunar missions, Starship must be topped off with propellant while in space, requiring multiple launches and flawless cryogenic fuel transfer between vehicles and microgravity. This is a complex ballet of engineering, timing, and precision, with no room for error. No one has ever attempted in-orbit refueling at this scale, and the project is already behind schedule. Each delay adds pressure, as timelines slip and expectations grow. After mastering refueling, SpaceX must demonstrate an uncrewed lunar landing. This will validate Starship's navigation, landing, and ascent systems in the harsh environment of the Moon, where there's no margin for mistakes. Only after these critical milestones are achieved will NASA consider certifying Starship for crewed missions, allowing astronauts to fly aboard this next-generation spacecraft. Each step forward is a massive engineering effort, and the mounting delays are a reminder of just how ambitious this project is. The pressure on the teams is immense, as every milestone missed means more work ahead. The 10th flight was a much-needed morale boost for the SpaceX team, proving that progress is possible. But the hardest and most critical work still lies ahead, with even greater challenges on the horizon. The path to the moon is steeper than ever, demanding innovation, resilience, and relentless determination from everyone involved. Starship's journey from explosive failures to a near-perfect flight is a testament to SpaceX's bold approach. Flight 10 has reignited America's lunar ambitions and set the stage for a new era in space. But this is just the beginning. SpaceX must now achieve orbital flights and master in-orbit refueling. Every launch, success or failure, brings vital data and progress. In a world where China is closing the gap, Starship gives the US a crucial edge. The future of lunar exploration and humanity's multi-planetary dreams now rests on proven hardware. The challenge is immense, but for the first time in a generation, the dream feels within reach. 
America holds the keys to the next chapter in space.